Hello, 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 it's Nits for Sanity, and can you believe it? I'm back with another unboxing, and another, like, purely fun purchase just for me unboxing. Um, this actually ties into my whip and chat that I did earlier in the week, actually at the very beginning of the week, where I talked about patty wax and how I used a sample of like their extra sticky patty wax and I absolutely loved it but I didn't like the way it was sold because I actually like using their extra sticky patty wax in my four placer even though they don't recommend using it in a multi-placer but for me it works and the way that they sell their extra sticky patty wax or super sticky patty wax is in these little containers and I wasn't sure how I'd be able to get my multi-placer to work with the little containers and I needed more of the samples blah 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 blah. You can go watch the whip and chat. I talk about it toward the very beginning of the video, I believe. Um, but anyway, I contacted them. Long story short, I contacted them. And I said, look, I love your super sticky patty wax. Is there any way that I would be able to buy just like the samples in the future? You know, I don't, I don't want the little container because of the four placer being a larger thing. And I'm not sure I can fit the four placer in with the container, you know. Is that an option? They wrote me back almost immediately, guys. And they said, why, of course, just put this item in your cart and we'll do a swap for you. So they were super cooperative. So if you are like me and you love their super sticky wax and, um, you know, you have other issues, just contact them. They are so willing to work with you. I was so pleased, so thrilled. Um, greatly appreciate it. So hopefully that's in here. So, um, you know, then I had, a, I, I paid for like a different item, but hopefully they sent me just the sample pieces instead. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but I also want to point out this packaging. <laughs> These people, they got you. Don't worry. She won this. Yes. I love it. I love it. As you can see too, this package, clearly there is more than just patty wax in here. Um, yeah, that's because while I was there, I found this diamond painting. It was a last chance diamond painting and I had to get it. Like I've looked at it before and I've not gotten it because it's a female, not a male. You'll understand when you see it. Um, but let's dive right in, shall we? Here is the packaging. Um, it's the box of the diamond painting. And then right on top, they put in my additionals to my order. So in here, there should be my invoice. Yes, my individual samples of the super sticky wax. And then I bought some drills too because um, over at Patty Wax, she will go through and she charts out how to do like embellishments. And you can actually purchase embellishment kits to go with your paintings. And almost every or maybe every painting at this point when you purchase the painting, if there is not already an embellishment or special drills kit available, she will list right there in the like information item details, the drills that she would recommend replacing if you would choose to do that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I may not be doing these replacement drills, but I wanted to get them just in case. Um, and it will all make more sense in a minute. But it's just another really cool feature that Patty Wax slash Distracted by Diamonds offers. Um, and I, you know, I wanted to check it out and we'll see. I may or may not end up doing it. I don't know. But I wanted the option. You know, you need options. All right. So <laughs> I am so excited. Um, I got a little bit of candy in here. A little pineapple candy. I probably will like this. I like those pineapple lifesavers a lot. And then there are these three bags. We get two little bags of the sassy glass, which they are like, <sighs> these are crystal drills, but like super high quality, like beefed up a notch. I'm not sure how to explain it, but they are really gorgeous crystal drills. Like these are super nice. Um, and then a larger baggie with some AB drills in here, which these are what should be able to be incorporated into this painting again, if I choose to do that, but I'm not sure. Um, then these are, 
the samples that they told me they would send. This is what I purchased. Were samples of Super Sticky. And again, you know, I had to request this special. Um, but contact them if this is something, you know, for me, just to be able to use my multi-placer. It's much easier working off from just a black like this versus if it were in a container, which is they have these adorable containers and truly fantastic because that helps keep your wax fresh. Um, so I would recommend getting the containers if you, you know, are going to use the super sticky with just the single placer, which is what they definitely recommend. And I, I understand why it is super sticky, but for whatever reason, with the way that I place, and I think it only being a four placer, um, I love the super sticky. So these were all what I purchased. And then this, I think, is actually a little bonus sample thing here. Um, this is really cute. I'm not... It's a, um, a, 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 a astrological zodiac sign. That's it. But I'm not at all familiar with the zodiac. So what is it from 823 to 922? Who has a birthday then and can tell me? Which astrological sign is this? Nobody in my family. Could, <laughs> I can tell you that much. My son actually was supposed to be born after that date, but he came well before this date. So nobody in my family. I don't know what that is. Sagittarius? That doesn't look like the Sag. I don't know. But anyway, this is really, really cute. If anything, I actually really like this container. This is really, really nice. Another little container like this. I will always, always take one of these. All right, and then this is my invoice. I'm going to quickly open that. Oh, wait, there's stickers in here. Oh, we got a little pug dog. We have a pretty little princess. And then we have this awesome I Heart Feminism sticker. I love it. Absolutely love them. Um... Valerie, thank you. And it's not actually an invoice. It's more just a little thank you. So, super kind. And, of course, um, when you do order from places like Patty Wax, they are an Etsy-based shop. Be sure to leave a kind review when you get your items. If you are satisfied with your purchase, definitely go back and leave a uh, review for them. All right, let's open up this painting. And then it will all make more sense as to why I, you know, was like, I don't. I want male, not female. Don't know if I'm going to use the special drills. So give me a minute here. All right. Distracted by diamonds. And yeah, distracted by diamonds and patty wax. Saying people, you can get your patty wax as well as your paintings and other cute accessories. All from the same Etsy shop. All right, I will roll it backward for you. So this has now been rolled backwards. Ah, uh, it's an Elfie dog. Which, by the way, if you've heard snoring in the background, that is indeed Elfie snoring. Um, he likes to sit right by my stink nook. Sometimes I block him out. Um, mostly because there just isn't a ton of room in my nook. And when I'm doing videos and I'm moving around, he really doesn't fit back here. I mean, he thinks he fits back here. He tries to crawl under my desk, but then I step on him and then he gets angry. And anyway, um, so I block him out, but that does not keep the stench from coming in. So it's still definitely a stink nook. He just kind of sits there with his butt faced in my direction, farting at me, probably voicing his displeasure. Anyway, <laughs> So I actually had my eye on this painting earlier and I did not get it earlier because this is a really cute girl bulldog. See, she's got these adorable roses, but it was the last chance thing. And because it was last chance and because it is a bulldog that actually looks kind of quite a bit like Alfie. Elfie's a little bit more divided on the top of his head where one side is, and he's not brown. I'm pretty sure these are brown drills, but he is what they call, what do they call it? Some kind of blue, but it's like a gray brown color over one side of his head. And then the other side is not quite as, it's more freckled. Um, but this is definitely 
the right type of breed. Elfie is kind of a unique bulldog. He is, uh, he's actually supposed to be like an official breed or newer breed, but it's like English bulldog, mostly English bulldog and American bulldog. And I don't remember. Um, so he's kind of a unique breed. Now, of course she does not have Elfie's cleft lip, so she doesn't look deformed like my poor dog does. Um, but the stick up ears, Elfie's ears stick up for a long time. We weren't sure if they were going to go up or not, because even when we got him at like 11 or 12 weeks old, his ears still drooped, which English bulldogs, their ears droop. Um, but his ears did go up and now they do stand up for you. Sometimes, you know, they flop down and that's cute. But, um, so that is kind of a distinct characteristic of his bulldog type, but I just, like I said, it was a last chance thing. And so I had to get her. And that is why now you see that, you know, it's a bulldog, but it's a female bulldog and I have a male bulldog. And then I may not use the special drills just because with animal pictures, um, I'm definitely of the mindset, you know, animals, especially realistic looking animals, which this is, they don't like sparkle and glow and shimmer and shine in real life. I feel like you want them to stay pretty natural looking but what the drills I got do is this deep cobalt that is in her eyes and you can use it in her nose if you want um so that's what this one is for and then these pinks are for the roses above her head and those are definitely the two locations that I could see incorporating these drills then and I like I said I'm not decided I might I might not I don't know but you know this blue is pretty spot on Elfie's eyes are about this color a little bit lighter than this um and you know bulldogs I don't care that he's a boy he can wear roses right he had a flower collar for a couple of years because that's what my daughter picked out for him it didn't bother him it's fire hydrants now he seems maybe a little bit more pleased with that one Hard to say with Alfie. It's hard to say. So anyway, that is an awful lot about the painting that does not actually go over this painting at all for you guys. Uh, distracted by Diamonds. This is a super high quality canvas. It is not soft on the backside, but like I remind you quite often, a canvas does not have to be soft on the backside. The softness is just an extra effort that will help your canvas lie flat. But as you can see, I've already rolled this out and it's already quite flat. So as long as the high quality canvas, that's all that really matters. And it is, it's nice, thick, heavy, heavy weight. Um, you have all of the normal detailing at the edge ear to help keep, keep your edges clean and fray free. You have legends on both sides of your canvas. This particular painting has 50 colors in it, which is a pretty decent number of colors actually for a painting with a bulldog in it um and then at the very base down here you have bully for you distracted by diamonds 2023 so this must have been a release last year anyway this is so cute also included you get stickers here's a sticker sheet for you now these stickers are not pre-cut out so you will need to cut them out yourself not a biggie um and then to know how to do replacements for these, I will have to go back and reference the listing for this because it's listed on there. Although I feel like I can probably figure it out. Like this was going to be the heart symbol. Um, doo, doo, doo. So, but to find out exactly which, what she was thinking of, it is listed on the original listing for this. So I will have to go back and check that out and then I will probably copy it off and I might include that. I'll just write it down here with a marker so that I have it on here. It will be a little bit before I get to do this cat. Just, well, for those of you who have been keeping up with me, you understand why. So um, I will probably look that up and I'll write it down here really as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, but I love getting sticker sheets. This is exceptionally helpful. And then, of course, this is all of their information. So Robin is the one who does all of the uh, embellishment charting for these. All right, and then here are all of our drills. 
These are round drills. Distracted by Diamonds has mostly, if not currently, exclusively round drill paintings. They might have a couple of squares, but they generally, it is round drills. Look at how deliciously colorful this painting is for a bulldog. <laughs> um, that actually really appeals to me. So this is, these are definitely very girly colors, but again, I don't think Elfie cares. I think I can just say that this is Elfie and he'll, he'll just be like, yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. He, maybe not. He just took offense. He walked away and he went to his bed in the kitchen. All right, I might be wrong. Maybe I'll just tell him it's his girlfriend. I don't, I'm not sure now. He does seem displeased. All right, it's not, it's not you, Elfie. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's glaring at me, guys. All right, so apparently he does take offense, but that's okay. So this is Elfie's girlfriend. He doesn't have one. He'd bite her if he did. Um... But yeah, so these are lovely drills. I'm not going to take these all out of the bag. There are no special drills in here. I bought those separately, as you know. Uh, beautiful, round drills. So many yummy, bright colors in here. That is awesome. And they all come in individual baggies, which is great. First, I love these um, for kitting up purposes. For me, even though I do kit up into different little plastic containers, the plastic Ziploc bag things or resealable bags are so much easier for kitting up purposes. Second, if you are not like me and you just use directly from the bags, you're ready to go. Um, this is supposed to be a 57 by 57 centimeter painting. So we will do a measurement for our last step of this video. Just double check sizes here, but it looks like it's a little under a 60 by 60. Um, this way it is 52, which do they have? No, there are not measurements. I feel like on the website, it did say that it was 52 one way. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong, but it is 52 centimeters one, you know, this way. And then this way is obviously longer, you know, just looking at it, you can see that this is a longer um, length here. Uh, yeah, and then vertically, it is indeed 57 centimeters. So I feel like the website did show a measurement that was not square. So um, I think it's just printed wrong on here, to be honest with you. So anyway, this is all from Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax. Like I said, this was like the impromptu add-on, but it's, she's so cute. And now I got all kinds of extra super sticky, super sticky Patty Wax. Ah! Of course, I will link to all of this in my um, description below. Go check them out. They are located on Etsy. Um... And I am just so pleased that they were willing to work with me and get me the super sticky wax in the way that I wanted it. So thank you so much to Patty Wax. I appreciate you. And yeah, go support another small business today. All right, guys, like I always say, please practice kindness. You don't know what someone's going through, so just be kind. Show a little bit of extra patience. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I'll see you again real soon.